In the next few minutes, I'm gonna share some information with you about marketing that will forever change your perspective. So for the sake of time, let's just jump right into it. Hey guys, my name is Adrian Boisel, and welcome back to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. Today you're gonna to love this video because I'm gonna share with you why you should stop spending money on marketing. I'm a marketing guy, and I'm telling you to stop spending money on marketing. What the heck is that about? Well, the reality is, is many of you guys are doing it wrong. Many of the small business owners, online business owners, retail business owners are doing it wrong. So today I'm gonna to share those five reasons why you should stop spending money on marketing. Number one, and you've probably heard me say this before, is marketing is an investment, not an expense. If you're going into a marketing campaign or you're gonna hire somebody for a marketing campaign and you think you're gonna to have to spend money, you have the wrong mindset going into this. It's a big picture type of situation. Even though there are companies like us that can actually get you an ROI very quickly, marketing is a long-term play. At the very minimum, 90 days, and sometimes it can be a year to two years before you see a huge ROI just depending on the strategy that you wanna take and how much money you have. The more money you have to put towards the investment, the quicker you'll get your ROI. That's just the truth of the matter. There's no going around that. So that's number one, is marketing is an investment, not an expense. You wanna have that mindset correct. Number two is your strategy. If you're going into battle and you're dealing with somebody that's just using tactics like, hey, I do Facebook ads, or hey, I do Google ads, or hey, I build WordPress websites, that's not the solution to your problem. Or your solution isn't building a website. Your solution isn't running Facebook ads. Your solution is building a strategy that is going to separate you from everybody else and actually get you leads, get you business, get you sales, and drive up your revenue, which is gonna pay for your marketing. Your marketing should pay for itself two, three, four, five, and even 10 times over. So again, that's another reason why it's an investment and not an expense. But on the strategy side, you need to have a detailed plan and not just have the tactics side. I know many of you try to do the stuff yourself and you utilize Facebook ads or boosting a post. That's not a marketing strategy and you're wasting money. If you wanna actually make money and turn a dollar into $10, if I could turn $1 of your advertising budget into $10, how many dollars would you wanna spend? You'd wanna spend as many as you could, right? So that's the whole key. When you have a strategy, you can have those crazy multiples of making 5X, 10X, and sometimes 20 and 25X that we've had on some of our campaigns. Skyrocketing results. So that's number two. It's a very big deal to understand strategy versus tactics. You gotta have a, be a detailed strategy and a detailed plan in place in writing, something that you can fo follow along with and actually stick to. That's the big deal. Okay, now number three is the systems. Once you've developed the strategy and you've made the investment, you need to have a system in place to not just bring in the leads, but then to nurture those leads and build relationships with those leads. You're spending money on marketing when you should be investing money on marketing. And so when you invest money in marketing, you're gonna put systems in place on the back end so all the data and all the information and all the leads and all the stuff that you gather from these campaigns that you're investing into actually pay you tenfold over time. There's a very small percentage of the customers that are ready to buy from you now. It's anywhere between three and 7%. Most of the customers are anywhere between 30, 60, 90 days, a year, maybe even two years out. And some of them will never buy from you. So when you actually go out and do these campaigns, you wanna make sure that you actually have the right battle plan in place, and then you have the right systems in place to nurture those relationships, whether it's email marketing, um, Facebook marketing, Google retargeting, all of these different systems that you wanna have, like having email automation, so when somebody does put in a form that you respond to them right away, or if somebody fills out the contact form on your website, how quickly do you follow up? Without these systems, you'll be throwing money at the wall and hoping that it sticks, and that's just not a good battle plan when it comes to doing business. You don't wanna do business that way. Okay, and ultimately, if you have those three things, the next thing that you're gonna have and that you're gonna want is a proven ROI. You want to deal with a company that can show you a proven ROI. I'm talking about case studies. I'm talking about numbers. I'm talking about screenshots of actual campaigns and results that they've run, headlines, ads, all of these things, as well as some of their marketing strategies and, and things that they've put into place, some of the wins and, and areas that they've helped improve other businesses. And then you can even call those people and ask for references. You want to deal with somebody that has a proven track record and proven results. This has been a big area of growth for us is being able to learn how to tell that story better to our potential clients 
so they can understand that we have that proven track record and proven results. Not just say that we do, but be able to prove that we do. There's a big difference. And when you have that confidence going forward, you know that you're investing money. You're not spending money. You're actually going to make money for every dollar that you spend. You should be making at least $2, the very minimum. And that's really honestly bad performance. You should be making anywhere, we always tell clients between four and 10X on whatever you're spending. That is the general rule that we try to follow. Somebody that has a lower ticket, it's gonna be a little bit harder versus higher ticket. If you're selling solar systems that are fifty, sixty, seven thousand dollars $7,000 versus a carpet cleaning job, you're gonna to have to get a higher quantity of jobs to make that ROI. And then just the ROI is gonna be a little bit smaller unless you're just a rock star salesperson and you have a great system in place. Again, having good, better, best packages, things like that. So the marketing strategy isn't just about bringing in clients, but it's also how you handle those clients and how you build those relationships and get the most money out of each client that you're paying you're paying for so you pay for clients either paying paying for advertising paying for marketing paying for word of mouth angie's list all these areas that you're wasting your money on like angie's list that gets you nowhere they're not branding you they're sending the leads to multiple people you're just not going to get the value out of that because it's not your system when you hire a marketing company they should be building a system for you and that brings me to the very last point point number five which is incredibly important i can't stress this enough companies like angie's list or yelp or any of these people these are not partners. These are providers. And you want to work with per partners and not providers. Partners are the kinds of people that are going to stick with you. They're going to help you build the systems that are going to invest their time, their energy, and their talent into your business. When you spend money with these third-party providers like Angie's List and all these other people that are out there, you are investing into their company. They're not investing into you. So you want to understand that there's a long-term picture in here. And if you're working with somebody right now and you feel like that they're just a provider for you, you either need to have a new conversation with them and say, hey, I'm looking for a partner and not a provider and change the context of that conversation. Because the goal of these videos for me is not just to help you, but also to help my industry. For other people that are in the marketing industry that want to improve our entire industry as a whole. There's a lot of bad information out there. There's a lot of misinformation out there, and so I want to educate the market, and it would be amazing if you could go to your provider and tell them, hey, I'm looking for a partner. I'm not looking for a provider. And if those people don't, aren't receptive to it and they're not willing to work with you and partner with you, then maybe it's time for you to find another person to help you with your marketing. We're available. There's tons of great companies out there, but you want to make sure you do your due diligence. So if this was helpful to you, please smash that like button. Share this with a fellow friend, with a marketing agency, whoever it is. I want to get the word out about this because a lot of people are spending money on marketing and it's giving our industry a bad name and we shouldn't be. Our services should be paying for themselves. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. And as always, keep looking up.